Good morning. It is my pleasure to be here, though speaking in front of the camera, to share about how has music education been doing in YM. And of course, I'm trying to include some video footages to make this presentation more interesting. You might have observed that I was trying to use present perfect continuous tense when I said, how has music education been doing in YM? Certainly, I'm going to give you some history lessons on this topic and also share with you what your old schoolmates have been doing now, particularly over the past few weeks. Hi, Ambrose. Why are you back? Oh, hi. I come back here to record for the music festival. Okay, so videotaping for the music festival, what's the feeling? Um, I think videotaping is a relatively convenient way for people to join the competition. Especially for the one who are shy, they can join the competition easily. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Oh, hi, Pietro. Oh, hello, Dr. Chen. Hey, hi, how about you? Why do you come back? Uh, also for the recording of the music festival. Okay, so what do you think about the recording? Um, of course, it's a good way to for us to record because due to the, the pandemic, but um, I think face-to-face -face competition is a uh, much better way because I because I enjoy that atmosphere and it is much more enjoy I'm much more enjoyable with it. Thank you very much. As you can see in the videos, our students are preparing themselves to videotape for the 73rd Hong Kong Skills Music Festival. This ended school music competition has never been cancelled, nor reduced in size, but from last year, due to the outbreak of COVID-19. In fact, this month, March, in every year, is dedicated to our musicians. You would have heard the sound of music echoing on our beautiful campus before, if you are senior enough. I hope that our Form 1 and Form 2 students will have the opportunity to witness these many musical scenes soon and to see how committed our Y90 musicians are on the way they strive for better performances. You can find the proof of their dedication and competence in the music room. The epidemic will not defeat us. 
although our normal lives have been altered, we do find ourselves adjusting to some new lifestyles. We miss a lot of music activities, performances, and of overseas training, and exchange programs. But we are now having our practices lessons on Teams while the music association streaming the lunchtime concert series on YouTube, and some of you are jamming ensemble and current music on Soundtrap. And you should have received free online concert links offered by the Hong Kong Arts Festival to view a lot of world class orchestral performances recently. We should be grateful. We are living in the 21st century. The advanced computing technology bridges us virtually. Think about this. What if the epidemic happened 50 years ago? What would education be? Half a century ago, Hong Kong was still a developing city. The rapid growth of light industry in the 1970s brought to us the first buckets of gold. And the economic boom since the 1980s, mainly brought by the fast growing tertiary industry made Hong Kong the financial hub of the Asia-Pacific region. But back in the old days, how was music education was like in Hua Yin? I've extracted some information from the shields for you. I would like to say a few words for the junior students. The shield is the school magazine for Hua Yin which is published every year with the co-advice of many student leaders, editors and teacher advisors. It is a collection of our beautiful memories. You see, today I'm sharing with you some articles from the shoes that published more than half a century ago. You may find that that is a name which may be familiar to some of you, only if you are familiar with enough with the school's history. One of the articles on the rightmost was written by Mr. Bernard Lim Wen Feng chairman of the senior choir when he was in Form 6, and now an established architect, who designed the rich building for the school two decades ago. He is the grandson of the school's second principal, Mr. Lim Hoi Lan Andrew. With a history of 97 years, the Big family has been nurturing many outstanding alumni to serve the community in different sectors. Some of them were active leaders of different music teams, particularly in the choir. But why the choir? It is because the school choir is the earliest established music group in Hong in Hua Yen. At that time, not many students could afford to learn a musical instrument, not to mention the possibility to form a school orchestra. It was an impossible dream. But a person changed this. Or I would say two. Hold on. Before telling you the secret of uh, to achieve this impossible dream, I would like to introduce to you the previous music teachers of Hua Yen. Their much committed and competent teaching caused strong influence on their students' lives, as well as the development of music education in Hua Yen. And now, we may hear some sharing from the former music leaders about their feelings towards the learning experience gained in their alma mater. We will have Parts Co, Chairman of the Intermediate Choir in 1986 and currently the first Chairman of the newly established Old Boys Music Association, which aims to reunite one night musicians after graduation. And we will also have Antonio, pianist of choirs when he was a student here and beyond his graduation. Hi everyone, um, my name is uh, Pascal Lo and I'm a past student in um, I'm one of the uh, founding members of OBMA, and I'm the current chairman of OBMA. Um, music, I love music very much. Um, art, because because music is an art um, that produces um, beautiful uh, melody, harmony, and uh, expression of uh, emotions. Music um, can connect people. No matter we are the performers or the or, or the or the audience, um, why do I take up OBMA? Um, we we want to establish um, an asso an association that um, we can continue our uh, musical experience uh, from the school to the community. Um, we all learn music from the school um, after we graduate um, we have to go to uh, university and then uh, pursue our career path um, our aim to start um, OVMA is to build 
a platform reaching uh, alumni across generation and allowing us to play music together. OBMA aims to cooperate um, with other organizations, including uh, various alumni associations from other schools and also some music uh, organization in the community. Uh, our next step is to transform OBMA into a music and charity group um, that serve our community in Hong Kong. Hi, I'm Antonio Chu, a medical doctor and a university professor. I was the chairman and the pianist of Senior Choir and am the pianist of our old boys choir. My son, Augustine Harmony Chu, is also a wire knight. He was a cellist and chairman of our string orchestra. We took pride in performing together. Choral singing is a tradition in WIK. We open our hearts, enjoy our freedom, and face our successes and failures. Through such, boys mature to become men. Music sublimes love. Through music, we express our emotions, develop our compassion, and strive to be men for and with others. Music in WYK is well supported by the school, the teachers, and the alumni. Our music activities are autonomous, adventurous, and diversified. This is why I love music. This is why I love the music in WIK. After watching some brief sharing by Pasco and Antonio, you may have a feeling that these talented alumni have something in common. That is, their loyalty to the school and their dedication to music. Dedication does not only refer to showing interest in, but also it is about how do you arrange your time well enough to accomplish progressively. The word progressively means setting periodic goals must be achievable to guide you all the way in your learning journey. After a certain period of time, when you look back, you could tell how much you have grown. So this attitude does not confine to practicing music. It is applicable to your other aspects of life. May I now share with you some examples of how to apply ambitious learning attitude gained from music training, perhaps to your other areas of life as well. I hope that the following videos may inspire you to set your goals and to motivate yourself to do better and greater. Is it the spirit of magic? Finding your own target and setting your own goal is very crucial. With that such dream, how could you chase and fly high? Hello everyone, I'm Brian Choi, an alumnus of Lion Kowloon 2012. I was in YK for three years till I finished Form 3 and left for HKAPA to further pursue my dream as a musician. I'm currently back in Hong Kong after a long stay for education in Boston, United States. I am a professional violinist performing around the world mainly as a soloist, chimney musician, but also an orchestral player. Pursuing music has always been my dream as I find music my own unique way to perform and communicate with people regardless whether it's being with an audience or with my partners in music. Although I'm well on my way living my dream, I still have many things I strive for. I'm still looking to participate in some of the largest international music competitions, and I look forward to traveling again to perform with some of my colleagues all around the world when COVID is finally done for. My fellow sea dice, many of us have things we are pursuing in life, but always remember the importance of having an aim and dream, which ultimately will lead us to having a happier and purposeful life. Always stay positive and don't mind being the frontiers of an unknown path. Plenty of people will try to discourage you from your dreams, but if you can see clearly what you want to do, you will achieve it eventually with hard work and determination. Especially in our YM family, our fellow beloved old boys have been plenty supportive emotionally and financially in my path. And they taught me the importance of passing on the will of Wayne Kowloon to be generous and unselfish to guide and help our next generation. 
Hope we can all continue to pass on our Hawaiian spirit. Thank you. Brian was a very special student. Joining the Hawaiian family in 2006, he did not talk much. In his first music exam, he played the very famous Paganini's Caprice No. 24 for his musical instrument paper. His faultless performance attracted his teachers of other subjects to attend the examination. Needless to say, Brian pursued his career as a professional violinist. He left wine after Form 3 in order to focus on his violin performance. After graduating from the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts, supported by his family and alumni, Brian, the apostles and supported by the Post Students Association, LA Chapter, he completed his master's degree in violin. Last week, he returned to the school and advised one of our violinists on technique and interpretation before we were taping for the 73rd Hong Kong Skills Music Festival. Indeed, one is, a very is very fortunate that there have been so many student musicians turn out to be professional musicians. But most importantly, they are all willing to come back and help the younger brothers. It is the spirit of passing on our values. Sometimes you sound like this note I can't provide or I can provide. That note I can't provide or I didn't take care of it. So, all you are doing is that you have to provide a lot of work for me. But if I can provide a lot of work for you, you will be able to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Because you are the one who is doing it, you are the one who is doing it. So, I'm not going to say that you can connect. The movie shows that a true musician strives for improvement and perfection seamlessly. Same to athletes, swimmers, scholars, and many successful people. It is a core value towards success. May I now share with you how does music influence Biffa and Harry towards their career aspirations? Biffa is in the class of 2009, while Harry has just graduated three years ago. They were both violinists in our orchestra. Dear Wild Knights, I'm Biffa Kwok. I graduated from WIK back in the year of 2009. Pursuing a music career path had been my dream since I was young. I was a member of the string orchestra, junior choir, and intermediate choir back in my secondary school life. I recently finished my doctoral degree in violin performance in the States. I am currently a faculty member at the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts and performing in few orchestras as a freelance musician, such as City Chamber Orchestra of Hong Kong and Opera Hong Kong Orchestra. I encourage fellows to fight for your dream. It's a challenging yet fun journey to pursue a career path that you have passion in, especially for the field of music. It allows me to connect with different people from all over the world. Please make sure you fight hard, stay positive, and be humble in any circumstances. Thank you. Biva reminded us to be humble. I am much contented to hear this in his sharing. In Confucius Analyst, Lun Yu Sam Yan Hang Bit Yao Si, the literal translation of this is there must be someone you can learn from in a company of three. But I would also say two has are better than one. When these graduates played in the orchestra together many years ago, they learned from each other about playing techniques, achieving accurate rhythms, and perfect intonation. They held contrasting views on interpretive music, such as, such as the competition set piece for the Hong Kong Skills Music Festivals. They argued, they challenged each other, and they made the final decision. Gentlemen, or you may translate as men with noble character, could achieve agreement and harmony but expressing their individual ideas. While feelings may say yes to everything but have their personal interests and plans hit. So, when taking part in extracurricular activities, you have been shaping such values unconsciously. See Biffa. Oh, I mean Dr. Kwok. He mentioned learn humbly at the end of his sharing video. He, has my, he was my first batch student in Wayan. As his former teacher, I feel very reassuring to hear this. This is one of the special values in our education here. 
Hello, my fellow Wanites. My name is Harry, and I'm a graduate from class 2018. After DSE, I studied law in the HKU for a while, but then I decided to be a musician after all, so I went to Germany, and now I'm studying violin performance in the Robert Schumann Music University in Düsseldorf. Music meant a lot to me when I was in Wayen because it equipped myself with some very essential skills and qualities, not only for academic performance, but also life in general, I would say. I used to practice and rehearse a lot, and that requires self-discipline and proper time management, for example. Um, I was also a concert master in orchestras that played a huge role in developing my leadership and sense of responsibility. So I would say my music life in YN are not only great memories, it also helps me prepare myself for the future. Now I'm working hard to be a soloist and orchestral violinist based in Germany. And I would like to wish you all a fruitful life and a lot of success in YN. Sometimes you need to be you need to sacrifice if you want to ch achieve high, like Harry. He was in the law faculty at Hong Kong U before traveling to Germany to chase his dream. It is a very hard decision to make. As outsiders, we may say what a waste. And in our life, we always have to make tough decisions. But how do we know if it's a correct one? Do we have appropriate and consistent priorities in making decisions? Same as sacrifice. We all have 24 hours a day only. Some people spend time wisely, but some do not. How could we take up more responsibilities, but at the same time, not achieving less? Let's say, how can I lead well to school choir, orchestra, or a particular student's unit, while simultaneously upholding good standards of performances in all aspects of my life? Like, academically, the following alumni may provide you with some good inspirations. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm currently studying for a master's degree in architecture at the Royal College of Art, London. During my six years at WYK, singing in the choir was for me an exposure to beauty and fun that I wouldn't have otherwise experienced in school. Nothing could beat the sensation of having my own voice in sync with those of my friends, all the while having the opportunity to savor the nuances of musical composition. Partly because of this, I nurtured the passion for the arts, which is a crucial part of my life in and out of school. I am happy to be part of the design of the Music Centre Extension as an alumnus. It is exciting for me to witness small moderations to the spaces that I once so often occupied, and imagine how they could make subtle differences to the way in which the whole school experiences music, like I once did. When Sean was a student here, he was almost like the official MC in many music occasions, as well as the official designer for all publications for the music association. The school and the teachers are trying our best to guide students to find, their develop, to find and develop their own strengths and to prepare them to enter the stage of the world. Hong Kong is just a small city. You should look to the world as the stage to exhibit yourself. Sean is now currently residing in Scotland, where his mom's from. During the lockdown, he is helping the school to work on the Music Centre extension project remotely and wholeheartedly. Hopefully, you will be enjoying some advanced learning technologies in the newly renovated recited chamber next year. And now, we may hear some sharing from a recent graduate too. I'm Wei Fok from class of 2018, and I'm currently doing LLB in HKU. Back in my days in Yan. I was the chairman of the Intermediate Choir and also the president of the Music Association. Having a large amount of responsibilities on my shoulders, I was nurtured into a person with good time management skills. Also, by organizing monthly concerts and the annual concert, I had acquired a strong sense of leadership. These qualities are especially important when it comes to working in the business sector or the legal sector. And most importantly, Music has become a lifelong interest. Even though I left Hua Yan, I continued singing. And I believe that my passion towards music will never end. I 
Wyan has nurtured generations of outstanding leaders, and these leaders have the following common qualities. They are committed, competent, compassionate, and conscientious. Please let me to conclude my sharing today with a quotation that I received in 1994 after the first term of my Form 1 year from my form teacher. I remember vividly that she said, Today, you are proud of Wyan. I hope one day Wyan will be proud of you. There is still a long way for me to accomplish this mission, but I will keep striving for it and never settle for less. Dear students, set your go today and learn to fly. A decade later, I hope you will see a video similar to what you have watched today to perhaps Mr. Ronald Young, my proud student and now a colleague of mine who won the best conductor at the age of 19 in an international choir competition. He will definitely share your videos with your fellow future CDs here. Thank you.